Robert Brower. I work at Excellus Technologies. I'm a software engineer. I actually got into the internet uh, in the early stages. Previous to that, I was um, operating a bulletin board system, BBS for short. Well, it's a lot like the internet. Users can dial in to the computer with uh, a modem and they can exchange emails, play online games, download files, any number of sort of um, useful and entertaining things. Uh, actually, I bought my computer myself and uh, printer and all the accessories that went with it. I was 12. I shoveled snow from driveways for money and uh, delivered papers. It was a Texas Instruments 99-4A computer with 16 kilobytes of RAM. Eight megahertz. I think the first thing I did with my computer was I played games. I played text adventures like Scott Adams, Zork. Mostly these were um, sort of text interface where you would you would be in an imaginary world and you could read uh, a description of the place that you were in on the screen and you would type commands like go north, turn right, read sign, pick up knife, pick up shovel, dig hole, things like that. I did some programming actually. The first programming language that I learned on this computer was assembly language. Most computers, um, such as an IBM compatible computer, have mnemonics such as uh, push and then the register name like AX, comma, and then some value like 1000. Of course, pop the value off of out of the register, and you could uh, you could perform logic and do jumps from one memory address to another. So you would say jump, and then some memory address, and then the execution of the program would jump to that memory address and execute code there not very human readable. What kind of modem were people using originally? Well, my first modem was uh, it was an acoustic couple modem, sort of a device that you would uh, pick up your telephone and you would dial the number and then you would quickly plug the telephone into the modem and it sort of sat in this cradle and, uh, and then if you were lucky you could actually connect to the bulletin board system. It was problematic because any sort of noise in the room or if you bump the table or whatever that would cause garbage to appear on your computer screen. So those were quickly shelved and new technology arrived uh, such as uh, the first 300 baud uh, digital modems uh, which were uh, a lot more effective at keeping out noise and other interference that would cause problems with bulletin board systems. Okay. That was around 1982-83 what was the first thing you dialed up with your acoustic coupler? I dialed uh, a bulletin board system. It was called TIBBS. It was a long distance call, so my mother uh, was not very happy with me at the time, and uh, I immediately started searching for bulletin boards that were in my local area. My first BBS was on my Texas Instruments computer. Mm -hmm. After I abandoned the acoustic couple modem, I got a Hayes Smart Modem 300, which at the time was uh, top-of-the-line uh, technology and uh, I remember having to actually take it apart and solder um, some wires in to the circuit board so that the bulletin board software was capable of detecting when somebody dropped the connection. The computer system actually was quite large. Uh, it took up pretty much all of the desk and shelves my computer um, had an uh, external peripheral unit. It was a big box. Inside the box were um, expansion cards, very large circuit boards that you would mm -hmm. plug in to sockets. Um, I had um, a 16, no, a 32 kilobyte expansion card, which was necessary to run the bulletin board because it wouldn't run with just 16 kilobytes of RAM. So I had a total of 48 kilobytes of RAM. I had uh, an extra drive, so I had two five and a quarter inch floppy drives, one to run the bulletin board software and one that would contain download files and other things, such as the program that I, I ran to run the bulletin board, which was, I, I believe it was called the TIBBS software. Which uh, came with a computer or? No, I actually uh, downloaded the software from another bulletin board system. Downloads would take anywhere from say 30 minutes to an hour or more. Files weren't very big big back then because of course they had to fit onto five and a quarter inch floppies. I think they were 512 maximum. 
What was the name of your bulletin board, your first bulletin board? The Wall. I was uh, really fond of Pink Floyd. When you logged on, you would, uh, you would see this sort of ASCII art picture of a castle. Um, scroll up onto the screen and it would say The Wall. Tell us about the stuff that you had on your BBS again. I had uh, a message board. You could compare that to sort of an online forum where there are different discussion topics and people could leave messages and then dial up the next day or later and read what other people had to say. Uh, I had also uh, a couple of online games. One was a text adventure and lots of uh, ASCII art files. Well, if you arrange certain ASCII characters in columns and rows and you look at it from a distance, you can see images like um, a boat or even a naked lady. And of course, being 12 years old and American, that was a very popular thing for us back then. And even some software, other games and things that you could run on your computer. Your bulletin board was, this bulletin board was able to talk to other bulletin boards, That's right. per se. How did that work out? Uh, that worked very well. Uh, Usenet, used, used for example, there were other systems uh, as well as um, Usenet, but uh, once a night it would uh, shut down, it would close uh, all the modems, and it would dial up another computer, another bulletin board system, and it would exchange all of the message board files. Eventually, I had to actually uh, make it do that twice a day because there was so much traffic that was going on. What did you love about it, you know? Yeah, I mean, there was something very compelling about bulletin boards. In a nutshell, it was the, uh, the ability, they, they allowed people to reach out beyond their location to other locations far away and uh, see things that they wanted to see or had not seen before and do things that they were not capable of doing without the bulletin board system. Um, they were able to affect the lives of other people and hopefully in a, in a positive way and, uh, and learn. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.